Yo, what is good, O Nation? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, thank you for stopping by. In this first episode, we are going to get into our Hawaii dynasty, actually see what players we have on the team, what we can work with this year, going into our first year, as well as start our recruiting board for our first year and redshirt some players that we think could have some potential to play for us next year and, you know, make some plays. So we're going to save them for a year. This episode, we learned a lot about the team. Not a lot of things on paper look tremendously well. However, I do see some players with a lot of promise, some young talent that should be with us for the next three years, next two, two to three years at least. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, these players pan out the way that we're hoping that they do. Now, in this build, we are gonna be really aggressive. We're getting recruits, trying to build this team as fast as possible, as well as win some pretty pivotal games. In our first game of the season, we are already starting off with a ranked opponent going against USC. So in our next episode, we will have the USC game leading into our first game ever as the head coach of Hawaii. So let's see if we can build this dynasty in the next two or three years and build a powerhouse in Hawaii with these fresh uniforms. That's the, that's the main reason why I picked the school was because of the uniforms. Uniforms was amazing. So without further ado, let's get into our recruiting, looking at our team, and then if we get a good amount of likes, we will have another episode as soon as possible for you all. And I hope you enjoy. Bah. All right, y'all, let's get into this build of our actual coach. Very excited to get into this Hawaii dynasty. Of course, our coach name is going to have to be Orion. <laughs> you know you got to tell him. We got to tell him that we did great. We did great, man. I'm real excited to get into this. See how we can do. Going to medium, of course. Some of these faces ain't it, bruh. That one don't look too bad. Leave them with the polo, of course. The rest of them look weird. I do wear glasses, so we're gonna do that. And then we gonna leave it on my monitor at the same. Um Gonna run the multi offense. Pass a little bit more. Very aggressive team. And we sub frequently. And we're aggressive, no huddle style team as well. We're running 3 4 defense like we do on our uh, Twitch. We keep these balanced. We are still an aggressive team and we sub frequently as well. Very aggressive team for the most part. Difficulty. We're not gonna change his uh, levels for that. And then we are gonna be playing on the Heisman with medium player threshold at a 30. And we won't change our sliders just yet. I just got the revamp. I don't know exactly how the revamp plays out and everything like that. So because of that, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna adjust it too crazy. In Hawaii, we are the head coach of Hawaii. Ooh. They went three and nine the previous year, so gonna have to update that some. We got one skill, definitely gonna put it on there. Fatigue for that, same thing for fatigue for that. Keep our players healthy, keep them from getting too tired. So first thing first, let's look into our actual depth chart to see what we have. So we have a sophomore red shirt quarterback coming in at an 83, no real depth behind him with two more red shirt. So we're definitely gonna try to have to upgrade the uh, quarterback position. He does have 93 Excel, which I am excited about with the 93 agility. 75 speed is not great, but it's not horrible either. 83 awareness, not bad. Uh, of course, his, his spin move is actually really good and his juke move is pretty good. 
Now this is what we need to look at. Throw power at 84 and throw accuracy at 80. So not the best coming in at quarterback. We got Miles Reed, a junior, redshirt junior. So we got uh, two seasons with him and no potential backups at all. He is not a fastback by any means with an 83 speed and a 91 excel. The excel is pretty good, but everything else seems pretty, pretty basic. He has pretty average stats right now from what we're looking at. So we're definitely gonna need to upgrade him. A junior, uh, looks like we have a junior halfback that's playing fullback, 51 overall, ooh. Okay, so not too bad at the wide receiver tip with a junior, a senior, some seniors, a sophomore, a junior, and a senior. But we're definitely going to need some. Uh, we're definitely going to need some help, most definitely when it comes to this man. Let's look at their catching, 80, 80. So they're not horrible, but they're not they're not great either. You know what I mean? Uh, this team is definitely going to be a building team. We have a wide receiver at tight end as well. Left tackle is not bad as a junior, 82. And then he has a pretty solid junior behind him at a 71. So that's pretty promising. A senior at an 82. And then a senior at a 79 at left guard. Center, we have a senior at 82. And then a sophomore who's a 67. So not that great we're definitely gonna need to upgrade our line as well it looks like we're gonna need a lot it's gonna be a lot of uh a lot of things that we're gonna have to try to get some players we're pretty much just gonna have to try to get as many players as possible this year and not necessarily go for the big names all the time you know what i mean it would be good to get a couple good players but this season we're gonna have to space it out and try to get as many as many players that are closer to the caliber of player that we are accustomed to having and want to have on this team in order to make a difference. Our linebacker, oh, now this is this is good. A sophomore coming in at an 88 life outside linebacker. So that's good. He's gonna be somebody to look out for, Darius. So we're gonna see how Darius does. We have a junior middle linebacker and then a sophomore redshirt middle linebacker, both coming in at a 73. Uh, who is faster so our senior is faster so we are going to leave him out there uh let's see what they're tackling and their coverage looks like for the most part tackling 75 the sophomore does have better tackling and better hit power we actually might start our sophomore over him we might start the sophomore over him and see how the sophomore does for a game Okay, so our right outside linebacker is a junior. Our starter coming in at an 82, that is not bad either. It's just a matter of depth. We have a senior, Davis, coming in at an 86, 87 speed, 91 Excel. Not something that you, I really want for Excel, but it's something that we're gonna have to get used to. And we're gonna have to use, figure out ways to get these people, uh, Get these people more in, like, you know, in gear. We got a freshman red shirt coming in as our th uh, slot. So that's not bad. Uh, these two guys, I actually might move him just simply because of the extra little bit of accelerant. Uh, as you can tell, I'm pretty big on speed. If you can get if you can get to places quickly, you can usually stop, you know, some, some terrible things from happening. Uh, play recognition. It's not looking great for uh, this sophomore right here. Zone coverage. He has better coverage than him, though. So I might throw him out there and see if he uh, if he oversteps him. You know what I mean? If he doesn't do bad, then we're good. Free safety. We have a sophomore coming in at 76. And then we have a junior and another freshman. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. He has pretty decent speed, so I'm going to enjoy that. And then we have a senior strong safety coming in at 83. Another, another good prospect to be somebody that can be, you know, well-rounded for us. Kicker, 74, freshman, and then a punter, junior at an 80. Kick return. So let's see. For the kick return, who is our fastest player? Our fastest player is actually a wide out coming in with 89 speed. So we're going to put him out there for the kick return. And then... uh. Pretty much the same thing for our punt returner. Uh, we might go here with this extra Excel. So we're gonna put him there. 
we're gonna leave him there and then he was already there so we'll leave him there and then we'll we'll give uh we'll give quinn a chance here quinn is a freshman okay so that's good quinn is a freshman wide receiver what is quinn's stats at wide out because he with him being our uh fastest player oh quinn is quinn is down here Quinn is down here at a 89 with the 89 speed. He's down here. He's a freshman. I actually might redshirt him now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so kick return, we're gonna take him off. Overall, 99 Turner. We'll just put you there, Turner. And then uh, we're probably gonna uh, redshirt Quinn. We're probably gonna end up redshirting him. I did see Dior Scott down here as a redshirt junior. Coming in at a 70 overall. He was in uh he was in last chance you. So we got our depth chart pretty set. Now this is where everything is gonna become, you know, more important. How are we gonna set up our recruiting board this year? How is our recruiting board gonna look for us this year? You know what I mean? So of course, we're not gonna have anybody in the top hundred wanting to come here. The school's prestige is just not not well enough for us to get those type of players which is cool team needs they're saying we don't need a quarterback i personally think we do but i'm pretty sure we can hold off for a year you know what i mean so that'll be perfectly fine uh tight end we don't have a tight end we don't have a fullback at all wide receiver core definitely needs to get better we need to get some more running backs uh whole line needs to be revamped they're saying that we're pretty solid in the uh in the defensive category so you know what i think uh unless we have players that are just like crazy good right now uh let's see who is the fastest player this corner i'm gonna try to get him just because and then uh who else so this corner we're gonna try to get him this athlete right here and this athlete so those would be our those would be our three our three gimme guys wide receiver how are we looking at the wide receiver tip this guy actually has us first on his list so we're gonna look at him for wide receiver quarterback do any quarterbacks have us interested no quarterbacks are interested in coming to our school running back what can we get at running back? This guy with a four, six, eight balance running back coming in at a 58. We're gonna look at you as well, my guy. Um, then we need to then we need to upgrade this line, man. This line for sure. A uh, couple guys have us first. So this five seven. Five seven. We're gonna look at y'all two tackles. This guy has a nine, five nine guards. Let's see what guards want to come here. Oh, definitely gotta look at this guy for sure. So we're gonna go back here, and we're going to. This guy is actually a deal breaker, so we're gonna take him off. I don't even know why he was there. And. This guy has his third with a 665. So we're gonna look at you. We're gonna keep you. And then we're gonna drop you. So we already found a guard that we potentially want coming in with that that high strength that we look for in the squat. Not a lot of uh, centers wanting to come to us. Pass blocker right here. Uh, fullback. Do we have any fullbacks that want to come here? This fullback that has a number one tight end. Let's see what we can get with the tight end position. This guy right here. So we're going to keep these 11 prospects on the board. 
scout them a little bit see how we're looking right there so 98 speed off rip looks great. We're gonna keep him. Route running is not good. He looks like he has good man coverage and everything though. So keep him in our eye as well. Play recognition is good. Man coverage is pretty good. Zone coverage is a C, so it'll be pretty average. However, you know what I'm saying? We will get some speed, some needed speed. What is his catching and stuff? Catching is a C, D, so he's not, not looking like a, uh, a solid guy as far as a wide receiver this wide receiver looks like he has terrible catch and great excel but like i said we're not looking for great players we're looking for filler players right now filling out our roster and getting the best effort that we can for the people that we can this center goes down so we're actually going to move him you know what i mean we don't want to we don't want to bring in people that are going down too much I'm not really worried about the fullback and the uh, tight end being extremely well. I just need them to play well enough to uh, to hold their position and not have somebody out of the position. You know what I mean? Uh, all prospects. Again, who is the strongest person? This middle linebacker. We're probably going to have no chance to get him. And then this athlete, who is the fastest let's see the fastest athletes uh here with a three four three eight three eight three eight let's look at these guys real quick middle linebacker tackling is pretty good we're gonna take him off i mean we knew we weren't gonna get him anyways hit power is really good on this guy not fast at all might be a good DN or something like that. So leave him for now. Once we get into the actual season, we'll start to uh, figure out, you know what I mean, which players we're gonna go for, which players we're not gonna go for. This athlete right here looks amazing. Amazing to the eyes. Bring him up here. Spectacular catch at an 84, route running at a 66, but potential, definitely got some potential. Hit power's pretty good. Looks like he can tackle pretty good as well. Doesn't have good coverage, doesn't have good catching. But he can definitely be like, he might can play strong for us at some point. And then this guy has pretty good route running. Not the best catching, but it won't be a bad pickup either. So let's weed out the guys that we do not want. We want these guys, this corner, we're going to keep him as well as uh this guy can leave this guy can stay stay wide out can stay this halfback can go tackles can stay this fullback can go we don't want to space our, our points out too crazy. This guy can come up here. One of these guys has to leave. He got to stay with that spec catch. I need I need that. He's staying. He can go. With a man coverage like that, he can go. I kind of want to keep it to 10, 10, limit my, uh, splitting up my points to 10. And this tight end can go. So these are going to be the 10 players that we're going to look at going into the season. So not going to customize our schedule, anything like that, like we said earlier. And we're going to start this season. First season with Hawaii. Very excited to get into it. 
this episode is going to be simply just, you know, starting off preseason, getting our recruiting board set, and then everything like that. And then we'll have our first game in the next episode. All right, so 27 sports recruiting, 24 7 sports recruiting. Let's see. So, Max, 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 and Max. We maxing them all out. Who actually gives us the most points? He gives us 350, he gives us 300. Looks like it's gonna be the guy. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the guy with the 300. We got two people with 300. This wide receiver, I'm gonna take 50 points from him because he gives us 300 and give it to this guy. We're gonna put that like that. And I am happy with this. 10 players right here. Potentially get one of these guys pretty quickly. And if we are, we can move on to trying to get some more players coming to the school. So 10 players on the recruiting board. In our first game, we're gonna have number 17 ranked USC. So it's gonna be a big task ahead of us to actually try to come out and catch a dub against these guys. So until next time, if we get a good number of likes on this first episode, we will have the next episode drop tomorrow and move from there. But I'm real excited to get into this Hawaii Dynasty and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.